NFT stands for non-fungible token. NFTs are a special object in crypto, but to really understand what they are, we first need to understand what fungible means. Fungible refers to things that are the same. When two things are the same, they have equal value, so they are interchangeable. They can be swapped one to one. Dollar bills are a really good example of this. Every one dollar bill is equal to every other one dollar bill. It doesn't matter if the dollar bill is old, new, crumbled, crisp, one dollar is worth one dollar no matter what, and it can be traded for any other one dollar bill. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are also fungible. One Bitcoin is the same as every other Bitcoin. Non-fungible, on the other hand, means that something is unique. There's no exact copy of the item, so it can't be swapped one for one with anything else. A piece of art like Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa is a great example of a non-fungible item. There is only one Mona Lisa in the world and no one can make an exact copy of it. Now you might argue that someone could create a copy of the Mona Lisa, but it wouldn't be exact. It wouldn't be the same brushstrokes, layers of paint, or history as the original. So the copy will never be as valuable. Now we understand fungibility, but what is a non-fungible token? Well, it's a special crypto token that has a unique piece of code attached to it, and that unique piece of code proves that the token is one of a kind. Let's come back to our Mona Lisa example to really understand NFTs. What if Da Vinci had made a digital version of the Mona Lisa? Digital art can be incredibly valuable just like physical art, but unlike physical art, it can be copied exactly. So someone could take Da Vinci's digital version of the Mona Lisa and make an exact replica. Poor Da Vinci would have no way of proving that his Mona Lisa is the real one. We would have no way of knowing which version is the original or which is truly valuable. Now, if Da Vinci had used the blockchain to make this digital Mona Lisa as an NFT, he wouldn't have had this issue. The NFT Mona Lisa would have a unique piece of code attached to it. And Da Vinci would always be able to point to this unique piece of code to prove that it's the original. And because the blockchain is open to everyone, anyone else in the world could look at the NFT and verify it's the original one too. Pretty cool, right? Digital art is just one example of how NFTs come to life. NFTs can also be used in the world of gaming, music, sports, and so much more.